It was the night before Christmas. It's not though. Don't you think people want to know what happened last time? Fine. Wow. Let's do it your way. Hi guys. Welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you've had a great Christmas. Or at least a good one with social distancing and all. Or maybe you just had a good week, not celebrating anything in particular. Anyway, Sinvas had a very white Christmas on Hoth. And last time, she rushed to a mine to stop a gas explosion, only to find a traitor to the Alliance there, ready to kill her. Further in, she encountered the Imperial whose hollow had been blabbering non-stop in the previous facility. He's not making any new hollows after this. An officer has asked her to set off charges to blow up the facility, rather than let it fall into enemy hands. Turns out the place isn't empty. So she saved a few Ortolans. Big deal. That's what I'm saying. Can I now tell my story? <sighs> Twas the night before New Year's, when all through the rim, not a creature was stirring, not even a sim. That's the wrong game. The blasters were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that the Sith not too soon would be there. The soldiers were shivering still in their beds, while visions of warmer days danced in their heads, and Sinva in her outfit for once with no gap, had just reached the outpost, no time for a nap, when out on the plains there arose such a clatter. She halted her mount to see what was the matter. Away to a bunker she flew with the force, fought bravely the fools that would stop her, of course. The sheen on the breast of the newly slain foe was a luster from saber staff crystals that glow. It's not, though. When what to her wondering eyes did appear? But an invisible thug in his spick and span gear. Then another base hollowed. We could use a hand. She froze for a moment. An imp in command? You didn't say you had visitors. What are you doing here? We haven't seen a new face in weeks. How did you make it past the Hailstorm Raiders? I have no idea who you're talking about. Then you are lucky not to have encountered them in the passes. The Brotherhood are White Moor pirates, the worst of the lot. They are savages, frankly. Cultists and marauders from some other ice planet that came to Hoth to test their limits. They hunt and murder those who cannot survive in the cold as they do. Republican Imperials alike. If you came to talk, talk. My men are in the same situation as Lieutenant Kirill's, cut off with no resupply possible. If we don't join forces, they'll whittle us down until we leave our outposts in search of food. Then we die. How does that compare to being betrayed at some critical point by the enemy? Without help, our deaths are a certainty. Anything is better. What we need is for someone to bait a trap. If we fire a distress flare out on the ice, the Brotherhood will come running to attack. When that happens, my squad can surround them and wipe them out. All the bait would need to do is last until they arrive. Betray me in this, and you'll regret it for the rest of your days. I assure you, if I wanted to ambush the Republic, I've already had plenty of opportunity. Here's the distress flare. Fire once if all is as planned. Twice if the Imperial help isn't enough. Good luck out there. The Brotherhood knows that ice better than their own backsides. The pirates so eagerly made her their game, as they ambushed and shouted and called her by name. No Jedi, no mercy. Ichuta, nerf herder. You tailhead, you spacer, you warm brat, moof milker. That didn't rhyme. Yeah, try rhyming when you're cursing yourself. You did it. I haven't seen that many dead brotherhood since we first came to the planet. Agreed. It was efficacious. I'll assume that was the imperial equivalent of enthusiasm, Captain. It was. My scouts are in pursuit of the fleeing brotherhood now. We'll see what they find. They're on the run. What could your troops possibly learn? We know we hurt them. The question is, is it enough to prevent future attacks? Snowraptor, this is Hatchling. Come in, Snowraptor. Go ahead, Hatchling. 
We spotted the remainder of the enemy force entering the ice fortress. Coordinates attached. If the remainder of their force is grouping at the ice fortress, they've been badly hurt. It's time to finish them. The captain's right. We're not going to get this chance again. That makes sense to me. All right. Our priority target is Master Sav. A cult without its beloved leader is a beast without its head. Sav is a legend among the Brotherhood. We stranded him in the snow once and left him for dead in Wampa country. He strangled one with a torn-torn femur and skinned it with his own claws. He showed up in the ice fortress weeks later, quite alive. I'll remember that story next time I'm a Wampa. The point is, Master Sav is not to be underestimated. We'll need you spearheading the attack on him while we secure the fortress. We will split into multiple squads, then meet up again in the audience hall. Be warned, the hall is a defensible area. They'll move the big guns there once they know we're attacking. I'll be there shortly. All right. We'll monitor the situation from here. Meet up inside with Sergeant Cacho and Sergeant Enlicker. Their men will reinforce you as you push to the audience hall. Go quickly. Let's not give them time to get back on their feet. Silva, back to the base. Breach the ice fortress wall. Now slash away, slash away, slash away all. Our orders are to freeze you in carbonite, not kill you. Try freeze a Jedi in a carbonite block. I'm afraid I'll have to decline your generous offer. You will run into obstacles. A forceful shock. Oh, please! We found advanced armor in a wreck and took it to our labs. That armor has a special healing mechanism. It heals any wound. They just got it working when Valon stole it. So down with the imp scum. Leave wounded alone. With new info to share. She was quick to move on. And then, while descending, she pointed and laughed. At shaking and flapping of Lekyu in draft. As she killed the last foe and met up with the rest... Down the barrel, the lieutenant stared, unimpressed. Captain Valon's still alive, isn't he? You lied to us. Were you in on this, Jedi? Yes, but I've discovered how Valon keeps surviving. It's too late for that. We always wondered how you escaped the Imps LT. Now this? We, we're not going to stay here and die. Talk or shoot, Private. Don't try and do both, okay? Congratulations, Kree. You get to chip ice off the Calm Tower's aerials for a week. Y yes, yes, sir. But Kree's right. We can't stop Valon. No one can. He had disarmed the boy, put him back in his place. Now she turned to discuss the next challenge they'd face. You're jumping at shadows. Somewhere out there, Valon is laughing at you. He stole special armor that keeps him alive from an Imperial lab. Are you afraid of a scientist's toy? So, Valan's secret is this special armor. Huh. You know, we did get intel about an Imperial lab hidden nearby. If the Empire was studying that armor, we might find information there. Any laboratory good enough to work on the armor will be surrounded. Yeah, we scouted it. There's guards and snow hides around the whole perimeter. A frontal assault would really cost us. But we could handle the guards while you get inside. Or, we could try luring them out, get them lost in the snow. Risky, but less risky than fighting. It's your call. You know the terrain and your men better than I do. Safer to draw them out, then. We don't have the numbers for a straight fight. All right. We take the guards. You get in and see what you can find. I'll find you when we're clear. Everyone, get your gear! We're hitting both Valon and the Empire on this one. A plan had been made. No, two in actual fact. And she raced over snow to make good on her pack. Sergeant Enlicker reporting in, sir. We've received little resistance so far. Sergeant Cacho reporting in, sir. You got here just in time for the fighting. These here are your unit. Straight on to the audience chamber. We'll fan out to intercept reinforcements. Carry on, sergeants. Right, taking point. Sir, now that they're gone, do you seriously expect them to be allies? I'm waiting for the moment when they betray us. Good. Because mark my words, it's gonna happen. They've got Captain B-Ron leading them. I've heard all about him back in the day when I was captured. Likes ambushes, he does. I see where this is going, and I don't want to hear it. Uh, look. I just wanted to warn you to be careful, alright? There's not many of us left. I'll go keep an eye on that sergeant. 
You take the boys here. Her eyes, how they twinkled. Her lecu, how lofty. Her stride so assertive. I won't die a softy. <laughs> Isn't this a surprise? The Republic and Imperials all bound together. What's wrong? Getting cold? Need to share body heat? Compliments are hardly necessary. Your humor masks fear. Fear that one day people will realize they need neither Empire nor Republic. And your death is one more step on the road to pure liberation. That's the room, gentlemen. Take the turrets and secure the perimeter. All units, find an Imperial. Reinforce their positions with small arms. Move out. This is the time. Don't let them dig in. There's no need to escalate this. Escalate? They're gonna have a clear field of fire on us. Catch out. I've just received word from Captain Biron. He's got new orders. You'll find them quite ready for them, Imperial. He said to clear out the fortress once it's secured. It's too large for us to hold. Is something wrong? He thought he saw another pirate. False alarm. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess things are all fine. Uh, all right. Everything's fine. I'm never hearing the end of this. Is there anything I can do? Uh, tell your captain that he's dead on about the fortress size. We'll be out of here as soon as all the rooms are searched. The fight through the spire was over at last, since the urge to kill imps. She paused till it passed. And no one could tell she was walking on ice. As she strolled to her mount, she didn't think twice. She had a new goal. A lieutenant was waiting, but first to the base, to the man she was hating. I heard about the situation over the comm. Master Sav is dead and half the Brotherhood tried to flee by jumping off the cliff. A well-executed plan. Of course, the irony is that with the Brotherhood gone, we'll be free to focus our tactics on one another. What would you suggest, Lieutenant? 24-hour truce as we return to our outposts? I could grant that when it involves my men. I cannot, of course, speak for others. What do you think? If you ever need to defect, you know who to call. A fine compliment. But after today's negotiations, I will likely be watched carefully. Yes, you risk much by coming here, Captain. If only more Imperials were like you. Be careful what you wish for, Lieutenant. On her speeder, she thought, this is clearly a ruse. And she frowned when she said, imps won't keep up the truce. And under blue sky, with a twist of her head, she knew what would come. She had nothing to dread. She spoke not a word, but went straight for a cave, and snuck by the soldiers, then scared up a slave. Too late. I heard you were coming after the regenerative armor, and I've destroyed my notes. You'll learn nothing. You will tell me everything I want to know. You... you don't scare me. We're secure. The guards are lost, but two of my guys are missing too. We're looking for them. I claim immunity. Under Section 1138 of your Republic Charter. You cannot coerce or harm a political prisoner. Uh-huh. But Hoth isn't in the Republic now, is it? Ever watch a mind being broken by the Force, Doctor? It's quite horrific. Uh, yeah. So you'd better... talk fast. What? You can't. My mind is all I have. Tell me about the armor, and I'll leave you alone. All right. I I'll tell you what you wish to know. Emperor, forgive me. You know Valen's armor has a unique healing function, yes? But that function can be overstressed. If Valen was mortally injured several times quickly, the healing function would shut down, leaving him vulnerable. Sometimes violence is the only solution. Sorry to interrupt, LT. We've spotted a group of Valen's men. They're headed for a scavenger's camp. 
Should we engage them now or wait for you? Just make sure they can't escape and wait for us. Yes, sir. I'll pass it on. Wait! Your Republic Charter State's prisoners must be cared for. Without my equipment, this lab will soon freeze. Forget it. I'm down two men already. I'm not wasting another to escort you home. Nobody forced you to destroy your equipment, Doctor. Goodbye. As a prisoner, I demand that you... Wait! Come back! Her tonton was flying across all of Hoth and trotting away, long legs making us what? She cut through her foes to her team she was meeting, and the boys they all gave her a heartwarming Got greeting. An update. This is big. Our scouts tracked the pirate's trail back to the starship graveyard, right to a dreadnought. The thing's a fortress. I didn't know there were so many crashed ships here. Some space battle years ago. Republic and Imperial ships both. These scavengers used special gear to get salvage out of the ice. Valan's men went straight for it. I think Valan's planning to raise the old Republic dreadnought from the graveyard. Then he'd have his own flagship. With his healing armor and a ship that size, every pirate on Hoth would join him. Yeah. We have to get in there. This'll be rough. That class of ship used heavy security doors as choke points. Plus the scouts reported lots of pirates. Wait, LT. Jedi, you've put yourself on the line for us over and over. Valon wants that ship to fly, right? So what if we hit the engines? He'll send his men to protect them. That'll work. We'll keep Valon's men out of the way, Jedi. You finish him for us. No Jedi could make a nobler gesture. I'm with them, Jedi. Right now, I... I wouldn't want to be shoulder to shoulder with anyone else. Our radios won't work out here, but I'll send you an alert when we've disabled the engines. We'll join you if we can. Find some way past those security doors and get to Valan. I just hope I'll be there for the finish. You could hear her exclaim as she rode out of sight. Happy New Year to all, and to all a good night.